Hello, and welcome to a NetApp Cloud video for NetApp Cloud ONTAP and On Command Cloud Manager. In this video, we would like to show you how you can register your hourly Cloud ONTAP instances for support. There are a few different ways you can get support for your Cloud ONTAP systems. One of the first ways to get support is to go to the online support site. Simply point your browser to mysupport.netup.com slash Cloud ONTAP. Here, you will see a few different offerings, you will also be greeted with a chat responder who is online ready to assist you with your issues. You can select a chat or look at some of the other self-service solutions that are available to you, product documentation, videos, and the knowledge base. If you still would like to chat with someone online, just go to chat and technical support and then start a chat session now. Another method for gathering support is the manual support registration method. This would be for new NetApp customers. What you would do here is to log into your Cloud Manager system and then select the Cloud ONTAP system you're interested in registering. I'm going to select Cloud ONTAP 1. Once here, I can click on the menu item and look at Support Registration. Here I find details about my Cloud ONTAP instance, the instance ID, the serial number assigned to this Cloud ONTAP instance, and the account number for my user. If you do happen to have a NetApp Support Site ID, you can click on the link here to register this Cloud ONTAP system with that ID. Simply enter your ID, information, and then hit save. We're making the assumption that you currently don't have a NetApp support site ID, so I would click on the link here to start the registration process. Support is included with all Cloud ONTAP instances, but it's necessary to complete the registration. In order to go through and complete the registration, click on register to NetApp support, and this will open up another window where you can register your Cloud ONTAP system. If you are a NetApp customer, you can click on this link and provide your NetApp support site credentials. However, if you're not currently a, a NetApp customer, you would click on the other link and then provide the required details. And below, we can see some information for a Cloud ONTAP instance, the serial number, the account ID, and the instance ID. Once you're done, go ahead and enter the security check information or refresh it if it's not legible. Confirm that you understand NetApp's global data privacy policy, and then submit your registration. Another method for registering your Cloud ONTAP instances for support is if you're an existing customer. If you do happen to be a NetApp customer and have a NetApp support site ID, you have several options. One of the first ways is to identify your NSS ID during the on-command Cloud Manager setup. Once you provide these credentials, this will be associated with the tenancy you just created, and any hourly Cloud ONTAP instance you create will automatically be associated with that NSS ID and be registered for support. If you don't happen to have an NSS ID, you can click on the link provided here, which will open another browser tab and help direct you on how to create your NSS ID to associate with your account. Assuming you do have an NSS ID, you'd simply provide that here. And to clarify, this applies to all users who are not NetApp employees or contractors. If you are a NetApp employer or contractor, you'll already know who to contact for support. If you did not specify an NSS ID when completing the Cloud Manager setup, you can still create the association. Simply access your Cloud Manager system, click on your tenants, select the tenancy you are interested in, and click on the Edit button. And here you will see the ability to create your support registration. Either create an NSS account or change your NSS account credentials. I'm going to click on the button. I'll provide my credentials here and save. My NSS ID is now associated with this tenancy. So any additional hourly Cloud ONTAP instances I create will now be automatically registered for support. This does not, however, impact any of the existing Cloud ONTAP instances I have. Let's go look at that now. I'll go to my working environment. Here I can see I've got several different Cloud ONTAP systems as well as a physical FAS system. I'm simply going to click on the Cloud ONTAP instance that I'm interested in, either by double clicking on it or accessing the resources. I'll look at the menu item and support registration. Here I can see I've provided a link to go ahead and register for NetApp support. And because I've added my NSS credentials to my tenancy, those are the credentials that will be used, and now my system is automatically registered for support. 
And again, if you have any questions at all about Cloud on Tap, you can always go to mysupport.netup.com slash Cloud on Tap to find more documentation, videos, knowledge base articles, or more importantly, to be able to talk with a support person live. That's all we wanted to show you for this video. We hope you found it helpful and have a great day.